Hi everyone, welcome back to Dina's Creation. Hope you all doing great. So today I am here with my new illustration of how to render denim jeans with texture. In this video, I am gonna show you how you can use pencil watercolor to render a denim fabric. And this video is going to be very helpful for you all. So I suggest you to keep watching till the end. And this is also just a first part. And the second part is going to be uploaded very soon. So you guys can see now I am doing the skin rendering and I have made it several videos of how you can render skin with uh, Stedler Luna watercolor pencil and you can refer to that. I will link those videos link into the description and uh, also guys uh, do follow me on Instagram. I am keep posting more uh, reels and stuff. So do follow me over there. The Instagram handle is Dina's Creation. So let's get start with today's video. Here I'm making a streetwear with a white crop top and a very much relaxed and ripped denim jeans. So for the top, I'm making a white top, white crop top, which has this drawstring from the uh, waist which you can tie from back so this is the idea for the uh, streetwear for me so uh, i'm gonna keep that string with a uh, black color and the top is going to be a white color so that it will make a good combination and uh, also i'm using a watercolor pencil not watercolor and you can just blend these colors with a little bit of water as if you render a white fabric, whenever you use a grey pencil, I suggest you to render it with uh, water one, one more time. Because if you don't, it will just not give you a very fabric look. It will just look like a pencil shading. So do that. And for the pattern of the top, I am thinking uh, I went for these dots. Or like different color in oranges green and red and I'm gonna outline them with a black pen so that it will look very good and this is I'm using orange red green and yellow color so it will look a multicolor top for a perfect you know a street where you can uh, easily go shopping for this kind of uh, with this kind of outfit so I should stop stumbling and now we are done with this let's start with the jeans start with the outline like uh, I'm making a V uh, V waistline I'm not giving a straight zip line as I have made in the another figure this is a different kind of uh, pattern I have made it and for the de rendering denim fabric start with the lightest shade of a uh, color like if you are going for any like black color start with the lightest shade of gray okay and if you are making a ripped uh, ripped it jeans then leave the part where you are you have to show empty so that you can uh, put again skin color on that so now blend it with water and bl uh, as blending with water makes your uh, entire illustration looks very smooth and it gives you very fabric look and if you don't it's just look like a normal uh, shading with pen so make sure it uh, it's dried properly then use your rounder you can use a pen as well but the pen will give you a thick line so i suggest you to to go with the rounder as rounder will give you a very thin lines and after that use a scale and make diagonal lines you can make only one sided diagonal lines or you can make a crisscross one you guys can see uh, you guys will see i'm gonna go with the crisscross one as i'm making one side diagonal and the another side i will make as uh, uh, you, I was thinking about going the only one sided you know just a diagonal line but then it wasn't looking that good so I thought you to make it a crisscross line so you just have to make these lines on the entire jeans fab, uh, pattern and make sure those lines are very thin 
with not too much of gap but the gap should be very minimum now start making diagonal lines in the opposite direction so that it will give you a crisscross line you can skip this part or you can just go uh, do as i'm doing right now because it just giving me you know a good texture of denim fabric as a, uh, originally a denim fabric made of only diagonal lines the stitches goes like a uh, diagonals only so if you feel like you can go with diagonals or you can make a crisscross line like i'm doing this so once you are done with the lines and make sure make sure all the lines are straight so that's why you have to use a scale and now use the darker shade of the same color like i, I was going with the blue one so i'm using uh, i've used a light blue and now i'm using a dark blue so start giving all the outlines first and keep your pencil very sharp not too sharp because uh, you have to uh, render it you uh, know in, in a soft way so that's why you have to make your pencil not so sharp and then the moment you start rendering you will see those lines appearing in your illustration and it's just uh, you know start giving the look or and texture of denim fabric so here i am making a denim fabric uh, a jeans which is a ripped jeans and it's going to be a uh, very loose fabric so i'm adding lot of uh, folds you can see that and put maximum pressure wherever you want to show fold and the shadow effect so that it will give you a dark place and if you want to show a highlighted part use your pencil very lightly so i have seen so many videos tutorial videos about this and they have shown only these two step so this is a third step which i'll be showing uh, which going to be very helpful to you and it will make your illustration look even more realistic if you just uh, leave your uh, pencil color on it it's not just gonna give you that good effect of a denim fabric so just wait till i will show you how you can make it a very soft one soft denim fabric uh, with texture the texture is something uh, we have achieved by a uh, making these diagonal lines and you guys can see at the corners i am using a very dark uh, strokes of the pencil put maximum pressure and uh, which uh, wherever side you want to show fold and the highlighted area you have to use a very light and if you think it's not that light use your, your eraser uh, because this is a good thing about stedler pencil if you uh, have ever you know like added too much of uh, uh, color you can uh, always erase it with a little bit of uh, yeah with eraser so this is the thing now i'm going to do like uh, using a little water to blend it out with all the color i'm not just gonna color it fully but some places as the sides of the jeans and on the middle somewhere so when you will wherever you feel like this is the lines are not going too well you guys can see the texture is there and i have made it uh, this jeans look very uh, realistically and it looks very fin it, the finishing has become really good because i have blended it with water if i would have left it without blending it water it wouldn't give a that great effect to me and this is the part i forgot to uh, use the rounder so i'm using that and i'm giving this darker stroke to make that fold effect and once you are done you, you have to make a blend with the water and once you are done where the uh, part you have left it so use the skin color i have used i uh, used two type of skin color one is the lightest shade you can find this color in stedler luna watercolor pencil 48 shade so uh, blend this first layer and then add the second layer and blend that second layer as well with water so blending it with water all your colors makes it look very nice but sometimes some uh, fabrics are like you don't have to blend with waters just you can keep it like that 
and for showing thread uh, detailings use your uh, white gel pen or you can use a white color white tube color as well but make sure that watercolor is not uh, infused with too much of water as it's all gonna spilled out so make sure that water uh, color is very much thick without much of water or you can just use a white gel pen as well i have used this gel pen but it wasn't giving me that a good effect and texture so i have gone for the watercolor tube watercolor you can see it's a camlin tube watercolor uh, and i've used a very thin brush for giving these lines and you can see that the entire texture has came a very nice and now i have to give some uh, again the detailing to the top to make it look like a white fabric with little bit of a gray shadow effects and for the belt side i have made it like a, a white place and it's going to be of a white prills and that's the pattern i've thought i don't know if it will work in real or not but uh, this looks amazing on the uh, illustration so you guys can see i've made it small uh, prills with a black pen and uh, you guys can use white color on top of it to make it more highlighted and now i'll be making a uh, that uh, what you say well i'm little busy here for making my sharpener making my pencil a good sharpener but okay yeah i'm ready ready done now okay you, this is another way you can uh, sharpen your pencil by scribbling on a, a rough paper i don't know a sandpaper that was a sandpaper i was scribbling and uh, use black pen to show the black stitches line and i've made it pockets and for the pockets i'm i want to put some thread work on it so i'm just using black pen to show that thread work and it looks uh, the whole look is getting very, uh, really nice as as it's a street style normally uh, it's not so high fashion it is uh, does look like a little high fashion but also a street style so the uh, whole look come together is looking very nice to me and tell me in comments if uh, it if it's looking nice to you as well so uh, if you are still not satisfied use your pencil to make even darker strokes to the folds and now this final touches of uh, making hairs so for hairs it's you as always go for the light shade as i'm going with the gray one and then start with the black pencil and blend uh, blend all the colors with water it's your choice with water you can do or you you can just leave without uh, blending it with water so it was going really good then i just messed it up again with uh, making more uh, hair flicks on the face and you guys can also use a white gel pen to make a highlighted work on on the hairs as well and for shoes i wanted to give a very pointed heel shoes with a brown color i don't wanted to make it a sneakers because sneaker is something very much usual like if you wearing a street style it's going to be a sneakers only so i, I thought like no i'm not going to go with that one i will choose a pointed heel so you guys can see this is all about my today's video i hope you like all this uh, my today's video and if you do then please subscribe because lots of people watches my video but they don't subscribe so please please subscribe to my channel and also like this video share this video to your friends who might find it very useful and i'm surely gonna come up with the second part of this very soon so till then take care and do subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching my today's video.